Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Sims Proving Every Day. I'm Gina, and I'm back. I know it's been a long minute, but after I posted that Bob's Burgers speed build, I literally had a series of unfortunate events happen, then the holidays, and real life, and so on. I now feel like I'm in a place to finally get this channel going, and I'm so excited to start my first official series, which is a tutorial series. When I was planning this out, I asked my bestie, what do you want to see in a tutorial? She's a casual Sims player and occasionally asks me questions, and she said, what if my mom asked you how to play The Sims? That being said, this will be a baby step by baby step series for people who have never played, haven't played in a while, who may be a little bit intimidated by it, or this could be for people who play all the time and it might teach them something small that they didn't realize they could do. And then at the end of each video, we'll take a quick look at a different world. In this video, we'll quickly talk about what The Sims is, what you can do in it, how to get started and more, and then at the very end, we will take a look at our first stop on our world tour, Willow Creek. The Sims is a life simulation game where you create characters called Sims and depending on the additional packs that you have, they can be humans, aliens, vampires, spellcasters, or mermaids. And I will throw in a caveat right here. Some of the features and items that are available to you in your game will depend on the packs that you have. And this goes from, like I said, gameplay features to interactions to worlds, types of lots, hair, clothing, accessories, build and buy objects. Um, so sometimes so if you don't have all of the packs, sometimes what you see in my videos might not be completely accessible to you. You might be thinking, what's the point of the game and what can I do in it? And the answer is pretty much anything you want. Sims 4 is a sandbox game, which means you could essentially play forever. You can create a sim that's based on yourself, which is known as a self-sim, and live like you do in real life or live out your wildest dreams. Or if you're like me, you can use them like voodoo dolls. But a word of warning though, keep an eye on your sims when they start going down the dark paths that some sims go down. Sometimes they go down them by accident, other times, hmm, not so much. But no matter how you play, the game is only over when you say it is. So it's been about 10 months since my first video, and if you think about it, that's enough time to have a baby. I mean, I didn't. I did, however, get a puppy about a month and a half ago, but not a human child. Anyway, needless to say, there's been a few updates to The Sims, including this new welcome page. So the main section here talks about stuff that's coming up. This is the most recently released kit. And then down here is a link to more news. And then if you look up in the upper left corner, you can click on the packs tab and this will show you all of the expansion packs, game packs, stuff packs, and free stuff. There's the free stuff that's available to you. And something kind of new that they did is if you click on the pack, it, of course, gives you the description and a few screenshots, and it also shows you all of the items that are available in the pack, which I absolutely love. And those are the create a sim items, and we have the build mode items on this other tab here. And then I suspect that if I didn't own the pack, it would give me the price and the option to buy it right there. And all packs are sold separately, of course. All right, so let's go, and then the kits tab is the same. So let's go ahead and go back to the home page there. And this panel on the right, you have the big play button. If it's your first time loading into the game, you're not gonna have that. Otherwise, it will take you into your most recently played game. A new game will start a new game. The load game will let you load into any of your saved games that you have. The gallery and options buttons will go over in a different video. And then down here are the icons to get to the official Sims social media pages. 
the version of the game that's running, a link to the most recent patch notes, and then a link to the Sims 4 forums where you can get a lot of good information. So for this video, we're going to go ahead and click on New Game. So once you click on New Game, it will take you to create a sim. And today is just going to be a super quick crash course just to get you into the game. So we're not going to create a sim via story mode, so no thanks. So after you click no thanks, it will generate a random sim. And she's actually pretty cute. But if you don't like the sim that it generated, you can go ahead and click the uh, randomize button down here. And anywhere you see the die blocks, you can randomize. So let's go ahead and give her a little bit of a randomization and see how Create a Sim is feeling today. Oh, she's cute. Oh, I like her. Let's just go a couple more times to see if it... Okay, so I do really like... Um, where is she? This girl. And I used the undo arrow down here to get back to her. So in order to get into the game, she does need a couple of things starting off. She needs a name, so we'll randomize it a little bit and see. Yeah, she looks like a Brittany. And Brittany Spencer. That, that works. Whoa, hold on, hold on. I realized after I completed the whole video that I did not even show you guys how to change your sim's gender, and I do apologize for that. So up where we named our sim Brittany up here, click on this big plum bob, and we can change the genders right there. And then other stuff we will get into in a future video is all the customization that you can do with their ages, voices, walk styles, and all that fun stuff. Okay. I apologize. Continue. All right, Brittany. What do you want to be? So we're going to go ahead and pick an aspiration. This is required to start the game. So an aspiration is a life goal that your sim wants to achieve. So let's see. I want to actually give her the nature and the curator aspiration because th there's a method to my madness. Trust me. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and give her some traits. And we have emotional, hobby, lifestyle, and social traits. And I know that right off the bat, I want to give her loves the outdoors because her aspiration is going to be primarily outdoors. And then uh, let's give her creative and... Mm, We'll make her active. All right. So now this this little likes and dislikes we will get into in another video because it's not required to start the game. Okay, so now we have a sim that we're kind of vibing with a little bit. And this is purely from randomization, so that's pretty cool. And if you wanted to change a few major things, um, you can change her body shape and size right here. And then skin tone, you can get this first bubble, click on that one, that will bring up all the skin tones. Hair and eyes, click on the head and that will bring her closer, or well, zoom in kind of. And then you have all the hair options. And then if you click on her actual eyeball, you can get the eye color. But I actually think she's pretty cute, so I'm going to go ahead and click on her shoulder and zoom her out a little bit. And we're ready to go with Miss Brittany here. And we're going to click this check mark down in the bottom right corner to get started. So if you have seasons, your first mission, besides creating a sim that you like, will be selecting which season you want to get started in. I, for some reason, always go to spring, so that's where we're going this time. So this brings you to the world screen, and again, depending on what packs you have, some of these worlds might not be available to you, but we're going to go ahead and move her into Willow Creek, the one of the OG worlds. Willow Creek, Oasis Springs, and Newcrest are all base game. 
All right, here we are in Willow Creek. And if you look down in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see our starting funds. Most young adult Sims will start off with 20,000 simoleons. Simoleons is the Sims form of currency. Any lot that has a green line around it, we can afford. And kind of like with real life, there's some affordable areas and some not so affordable areas. And then any home that has this symbol above it, the grayed out plum bob, we'll talk about plum bobs in just a minute, that means that the home has a family in it. If we choose an empty lot, it will be cheaper, but you have to build your home from scratch. Whereas most worlds offer starter homes, which are homes under that 20,000 simoleon price tag. And they have the very minimum amenities to meet your Sims needs. So we're going to go ahead and choose this little streamlit single down here. And then once you click on it, you can click on the moving truck down in the bottom right corner. And then we have a couple more options. We can get it furnished, unfurnished, or we can bulldoze the lot. Again, bulldozing the lot will give us a little bit of more money, but we will have to rebuild the house from scratch. Furnished, like I said, basic minimum amenities to meet your sims needs and then unfurnished will have the shell of the house but there will be no plumbing no appliances nothing like that so we're going to go ahead and select furnished okay so right when we get into the game we're going to go ahead and pause it so that we can get our bearings a little bit i'm going to put the walls up because we're not ready to go there yet and due to the temperature, the game automatically put her in her cold weather outfit, which I did not choose. Just putting that out there. Okay, so let's have a look at a couple of things. So this user interface down here, we have the pause button, the play button, and you can speed up time a little bit. And then the camera options. If you have seasons involved, you can hover over this. Involved? Installed? You can hover over this and it will tell you what season you're in, how far along in this season you are, uh, the current weather, and the forecast. And it used to also tell you the eco footprint if you had eco lifestyle um, installed. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it because like it was there yesterday. I don't know if that's a bug or if they've removed it. If you don't have seasons, you'll still be able to see the day of the week and the time down there. So some basic camera controls. Um, real quick, I do want to go up to this, these three dots up here into the options and game options and game camera. I have the Sims 3 camera checked. To be perfectly honest, when I was first getting involved with the Sims 4, I watched a video from another YouTuber that recommended using the Sims 3 camera, and so I've always used it, so I don't know what the difference is if I uncheck that. But that is something that you can play with and see if it works for you. All right, so basic camera controls. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And if you click and hold the wheel and move your mouse around, you can look all around and your sim will stay more or less in the middle of the screen. And then there's W, A, O, S, D. And you can move back and forth and left and right. So down in this bottom right corner, this icon with the smiley face and the arrow, those are your needs. And this is the most important panel to make sure that your sims are alive and happy. All the needs on the left, if they drop too low, can result in death. For instance, bladder, if you don't attend to that need, they will mess themselves and most likely become embarrassed and it can get to the point where they become so embarrassed that they die of embarrassment. Hunger, obviously if you don't feed your sims or let them eat, they're going to die of starvation. And then energy, I don't think you can really die from it unless your sim is an elder. But if it gets all the way down to the red, your sim will temporarily pass out and then try to find the nearest bed or couch to solve that need. The needs on the right over here, if they get low, your sim is just going to be in a bad mood and they're not going to be very cooperative. 
with um, what you want to do until you help them solve those needs. So as I mentioned a little bit ago, plum bobs. Oh, sorry, got too close. There we go. The plum bob is the little icon, diamond icon that's floating above the sim's head. It lets you know which sim is currently selected. And it also kind of matches their moods. So if the plum bob is orange or red, they're probably having a bad time. So now as I've been moving around, you probably could see that my cursor has little feet next to it. And I'm pointing at the screen like you can see me. Anywhere that the cursor has the little feet, your sim can walk to. So she can go all the way out here. She can't go into the street that way, but she can come across here and she can come all the way down, all the way down to here, but there's really nothing past this point. But over here, there's a little neighborhood garden and she can come all the way up through here, all the way around this lot, all the way over here. And then like all the way in the back on that side. And then when your cursor changes to the little car icon, that means that you, that's a lot that you would actually have to travel to to go visit. So for instance, we have some neighbors over here. She can walk up to their house, but in order to visit them, you have to go through the loading screen and then you would be able to knock on their door and they could invite you in and you could check out all of the stuff that they have and meet them and all that good stuff. If your cursor gets a gear by it, that means the object is something that you can interact with. So we're going to go ahead and let her get started on her aspiration. And this icon down in the bottom right is the aspiration. And she wants to be a curator. So there's a couple of things that this panel tells you. This will tell you how many levels there are to the aspiration. So the curator has four levels. And then the way you complete the levels is by doing any tasks that are listed down here. So for the first level, she wants to collect 10 collectibles. And then every time you complete a task, you get satisfaction points, which when you get enough satisfaction points, you can go into the store and buy helpful items. So collectibles, we'll get into deeper in probably a different video. But for now, we're going to go ahead and start her fishing. So we're going to come over here to this fishing sign, click on it, go fishing. We're going to go live and now stuff can happen. And then anytime your sim does something that has a skill attached to it, they acquire that skill. And then the more they do that activity, the higher their skill becomes. So real quick, one more thing about the aspirations is that you can change aspirations at any time without losing the progress of the previous aspirations. Okay, so while she's fishing, we were waiting for a couple of things to happen. We were seeing if we could get any fish, which is considered a collectible. But we have this rock over here that spawned. So we're gonna go ahead and have her dig that. And this looks like, okay. So this is giving us an option to create a like or dislike for her. So it's asking us if she, if we want her to like fishing. So we do because fishing is a collectible kind of skill and that will come in handy for her aspiration. So this looks like it's a fossil rock. So it can have a limestone, a capsule, or a treasure map in it and it looks like she found a limestone so when she breaks that open um, she will find a fossil and Brittany Cho is inviting us to Batu, which if you have the Star Wars pack that will happen if not this will not happen but it tells you up here how to get there if you don't take the invitation okay now she acquired the fitness skill and she's running off so let's go find her if you click on your uh, Sims picture down here, it will take you to where they are. And I wasn't ready to go into the house yet, Brittany. <sighs> Gosh. Okay, so I had Brittany come back outside and I'm pausing the game so that she doesn't do what she wants. Okay, because we were trying to do other stuff here. So this is a log and this is a good place to find frogs. 
which is another collectible item. And like I said, we are trying to kill a little bit of time to get some stuff to spawn, but also to have the welcome wagon come over. So you might have noticed that sometimes it takes Sims a really long time to get where they're going. Because of this, I do fast forward time just a little bit, but our welcome wagon has arrived. And these are neighbors that decide to show up to welcome us. So let's go ahead and say hi to them. Um, we'll do a friendly introduction and then we will go look at the house. Okay, see, it took her a very long time to get there. All right, so she's going to talk to them. All right, so now for the house, there's a couple of different views you can look at. I apologize, the camera keeps jumping. It's because I'm on the upper level. So if you click on the lower level, or to go down a level, I should say, that can show you the layout of the house. And then... As far as the walls go, there's three options. You can have them up, fully down, or cut away. I like the cut away most often, but we are going to go ahead and have her invite the neighbors in, and we are going to meet some people. I don't think you need to be standing that close to him, though. That might be invading his space, but she's still talking to Summer. Any interactions that you queue up are going to be displayed on this left side, so she's just talking to Summer, and she's not inviting them in yet because that interaction is blocking, and now it's snowing, so they're all freaking out about it. We're inviting them in. Okay, I lost control there. <laughs> okay, so she invited them in. We're in. Brittany, come here, please. All right, and they always bring a fruitcake, and some Sims like fruitcake and some don't. So let's check out our needs real quick here. Um, she does need to go potty, so we'll go ahead and let her do that. And we'll click use. All right, so she's getting to know her neighbors, and we took care of the potty issue. So let's have her grab a piece of fruitcake and see if she likes it. So we're going to speed this up a little bit. They they do tend to be a little bit slow. Okay, so let's see. What is she tense for? Cheer, cheer to death. Oh, okay. So she... Whichever of these sims was cheerful, she didn't really like it all that much. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> so she does not like fruitcake. So Brittany is getting to know her neighbor. She's not super comfortable because of that fruitcake. Oh, somebody said something she didn't really like. All right, but then down here in the right, this couple of little people down here, this shows your relationships. These are all the Sims that you've ever met. This bar will be green if you have a good relationship with them, and then the fuller it gets, the more you know them. There will be another relationship bar under here if you have any romantic um, interest in a person and if it's positive it would be pink if you caught your boyfriend cheating on you that would go to red so they are leaving and they left this wonderful mess for us to clean up but let's check her needs again real quick here so she's a little tiny bit hungry we will go ahead and have her cook something we'll have her have lunch and we'll do a grilled cheese sandwich and in these starter homes, they don't always have the best appliances, so make sure you're watching them when they cook, because a lot of times they do like to start fires. Now we will speed up time. And she's acquired the cooking skill. If you hover over the food that they made, it will tell you the kind of quality. It's poor quality. It can come from the quality of the stove. It could come from her lack of experience, but either way, she's probably not going to be happy eating that sandwich. She apparently wants to do some working out. So in order to travel, we go down here to the left, click the phone, click the car, select travel. This is asking if we want to invite any of these people with us. We do not. And click the check mark. So now she's going to get on the phone and we will get to the travel screen. So down here 
are the community lots. We're going to go ahead and take her to the gym since she was interested in working out. And then we can click the car over here to confirm that. All right, so we are at the gym. We're going to go ahead and click on a workout machine and have her work out. She'll automatically change into her athletic gear, which again, I did not create, so I don't know what it's going to look like. Okay, that's not terrible. All right. And then while she's working out for a minute, we'll go take a little look around the neighborhood here. And anytime you go into an area for the first time, it won't have the little collectible spawner things. Fishing is usually always available, but after she spends a little bit of time in the neighborhood, then like the logs will appear and the rocks and stuff like that. So we'll give her a few minutes and see if anything appears. Usually there's one right in here. Okay, so we're going to have her look for a frog because that will help with our aspiration. And there's another rock over here. This one looks like a metal rock, which means you can get a type of metal or again, the capsule or the treasure map out of it. The capsule and the treasure maps are not super exciting. The capsules always have a My Sims trophy in it or two. Lately, it's been giving me two. That looks like she got a capsule. Okay, the so way over at this other end, we have a crystal rock. So that could get her a crystal or again, the capsule or the treasure map. So the treasure maps are supposed to give you the option to dig for treasure. And I believe you're supposed to be able to find something uncommon or rare when you use the treasure map. I haven't had too much success with that. And we're gonna let her fish just for a minute. So I queued up a few things for her to do. I'm fast forwarding time so that she gets it done a little bit quicker. And then we're going to come over here and we are going to snag a hot dog from Summer. If you're on a community lot or a common area and somebody grills food, you can actually eat it without it costing you anything. Because every time you want to make something, either at home or on a grill, it does cost simoleons. Summer, it's been a real slice, but we're leaving. So we're gonna go ahead and have her travel. Again, it's asking if we wanna take any of these people with us, we do not. So to go home, there are a couple of different ways. Let me go ahead and pause. So there's a couple of ways that you can go home from other lots. You can click this little house icon in your Sims picture or you can go through the phone and do the travel like I selected to do. Because if you do it this way, your sim will actually walk to the edge of the area and then go to the loading screen. So sometimes depending on the size of the area, it takes them a really long time to get home. Usually the travel option is just faster. So we will go ahead and speed up and we're going home. Okay, so she's back home. We will go ahead and let her go to the bathroom. We'll let her take a shower and we will fast forward. And it's been a pretty successful day for our new friend, Brittany, I think. So now that she's sleeping, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to save and exit and get back into the game. So let's go ahead and save. And you can click save right there. If you're trying to get out of the game for any reason, if you want to completely exit, you can click exit and it'll give you the option to save and exit. Um, you can exit to the main menu or you can exit to manage worlds. So we'll go ahead and exit to the main menu. I'm going to go ahead and click save and exit. We are back to our home screen. This is what you'll see when you load in the next time. And then you can click the big play button that will take you into your most recently saved game. This is our friend Brittany Spencer right here. You can click on the lot and then click on the big play button down in the bottom right corner and it will be right where you left off. Okay, so here is our look at Willow Creek. And one thing I wanna point out is that these little circles with the neighborhood names, those are fairly new and I like it. It adds a little bit more depth to the game and we have five of them in Willow Creek. And then there are a couple of prominent Sims families that live in this uh, world. We have the Goth family that lives right there. And the Goths have been in the Sims games since the beginning. 
And then we also have the pancakes over here, Bob and Eliza. And I'm learning that for some reason, not a lot of people like Eliza, and I'm not so sure why. I do want to encourage you that when you're playing the game, take some time to look around in the background because you might find cute little details that you never knew were there. For example, the other day, my bestie came in and said, you have dinosaurs in your game? And I said, yes, and you do too. And we will take a look at the dinosaur in the next video when we visit Oasis Springs. But for now, let's go into a couple of the lots here and, like I said, have a little bit of a look around. So we are in one of the more expensive neighborhoods and you can see that there's a cute little bay over there. And then in the distance, you can see all the details of the trees. We can't access these areas, but like I said, it just adds a little bit more depth. So let's go visit another neighborhood real quick. Okay, so this one is not the most affordable neighborhood, but it's not the most expensive either. And you can see the city line in the background. And again, we can't access those areas, but it makes it feel a little bit more realistic. And the last little neighborhood that we're going to look at in Willow Creek is the neighborhood where our friend Brittany lives. She lives right there. And this is her neighborhood when you take a look around there. And then over here, you may want to go interact with that tree. It may or may not take you to a secret lot. And then down along this riverbank is where all the community lots are. We kind of saw this area during our game when we took Brittany to the gym and then she went and the area where she was with Summer is actually more behind the museum over there. And that is our look at Willow Creek. So as we part, I will leave you with this beautiful shot of this little bay that's in front of one of the houses in the more expensive neighborhood. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Next time we'll delve deeper into Create a Sim. We'll look at the gallery and check out Oasis Springs. But for now, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Questions, kind comments, and feedback are always welcome. And please, be a nice human. Bye.